Let's talk sports. Athletes all over the world are preparing for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, or at least everywhere but in Russia. That's because the World Anti-Doping Agency has now decided to ban Russian delegations from all major events for the next four years, including the Tokyo Olympics and the upcoming World Cup. Well, here now to discuss the details is Israeli sports journalist Amit Levintal. Amit, thank you so much for being with us now. What is Russia exactly being accused of? Well, we're talking about a state-sponsored program of doping. In uh, the, the proportions of it is, is mind-boggling. Actually, this has been go ongoing this is, for years. No, this, this has been um, yeah going for uh, the last decade, and we're talking. Uh, Russia hosted the 2014 Winter Olympics, and before that, you know, they were preparing, and there, there was a, really a massive program involving the Kremlin, involving the KGB, and other you know, parts of the Russian government, the Russian authorities, they, it, and it was involving corruption, deception, including the people from Russian anti-doping anti, uh, uh, agency. The Russian anti-doping agency participated in this uh, mass corruption and mass, uh, in this massive scandal. And actually, uh, we're talking about m many athletes that were actually uh, giving uh, Actually, they were giving uh, some substances, uh, illegal substances, and they were uh, some of them won medals in in some of the uh, tournaments and were the they Olympics. To give those well, medals back? Yeah, yeah yes, some, right, those cool. who were caught gave their medal back, but wow. some were not caught. And, and you know, some of the athletes from other countries are really mad. And not only in, in the main Olympics, also in uh, other Olympics. You right. know. Uh, so so here's my question for you: What does that mean for Russian athletes who are not necessarily guilty? Oh. Of of doping and I mean I'm interested to know how that will impact the rest of the teams like Israel. If anyone who can prove he's untainted can still participate as a, an independent athlete and they the only thing here in the what will happen in Tokyo 2020 Russian athletes who you know are not accused of doping and they can prove they are okay. They can compete, but not but for not who? under and, no, and how under. Can they prove it. When you're saying the, that the Russian doping agency was involved. Yeah, yeah. So but how no, can they, they, they can it? no, they can compete as individuals. They will yeah. not. What's important here? We will not see the Russian flag. We will not hear the Russian anthem. They wow. will compete as individuals under the Olympic flag. And if they win their competition, we'll hear the Olympic, uh, you know, com the the Olympic uh, anthem as well. Uh, so they cannot represent Russia. Now we need to. Un to so you're saying under the Olympic flag, that's who they uh, would yes, be representing. Yes, and they already done well, because it. Because I just started thinking in my head about all of the Russian immigrants that are here in Israel, sure. and I'm assuming there are many. But if they're who representing the ability, Israel, then that's not well, Russia. Well, no. What I was going to say is that there are probably so many who have the ability to make Aliyah or immigrate to Israel and could represent <laughs> Israel in the Olympics. <laughs> but I don't know if we've been considering that. Well, I think here, if there is no evidence that you did something wrong, you can still participate. Okay. You know, in your sport. And that's the main issue. Now, we need to remember another thing. The Russian uh, authorities and the Russian government still has uh, three weeks, uh, of course, to appeal against mm -hmm. the ban mm -hmm. they received. So they still, it's not, a, the case is still not over, but it looks like, uh, yeah, the Russians, they will not have a football team in 2022 20, uh, World Cup in Qatar. Right. And, of course, their athletes that are clean could compete in 2020, uh, but right, under well, the Olympic uh, flag well, and not under Russia. It'll be interesting to see uh, who appeals and, and whether or not that'll be well, successful. Well, and also how this yeah. impacts the performance Absolutely. of Israeli but, but I think teams, it's, what, you what, know? So, uh, just, unfortunately, just, no, we have to <laughs> I'm so sorry, yeah. Uh, we could sit here and talk about this all day, yeah. but thank you so I mean, much for joining you. us.